morning guys, just kicking off a week of camping here in Japan. So I'm starting at Costco to grab some supplies before I show you literally everything that I brought with me. I brought a lot of stuff this time. Let's make it quick. We buy nothing big this time. Oh, those marshmallows are huge and very tempting, but I'm 95% sure that if I ate that whole bag, I'd either die or end up diabetic. So, all right, let's go pay for the sausages. <laughs> feels slightly ridiculous to go all the way to Costco for just one pack of sausages, but it was the closest place to my campsite, which I have entirely to myself, by the way, a fully private campsite. So excited about that. There we go. Let me Give you a quick peek at the campsite. So this is pretty much the entire space right here. I got the camper van right here. It's got a little cafe over there. And then there's a barbecue and fire pit area right here. I got a new fire pit that I'm looking forward to checking out. So let's, uh, <laughs> let's unload the, this, particular trip is a really long one which means I've had to bring way more gear than I usually bring. This whole bag is camera gear and uh, so is this pelican case and we'll talk gear later. I want to show some of the camping stuff I brought. Just close. This entire bag here is food. So put that there. A towel can get folded and stuffed in there. I actually always bring along exercise bands so that I can at least try to stay healthy while I'm here. And this here is my drone. I'm using the DJI Air 2S right now because it's super compact. I can just toss it right in this case. Most of these little compartments right now are just filled with charging cables and my towels and whatnot. It's a microwave. It works. If you haven't seen the video on the camper van, I'll link it up above. I keep my clothing in just a container like this. And I just brought a bunch of the exact same t-shirt I'm wearing now because it's simpler. And these are the lights that I usually use from Aperture. There's also a sink right here. And this little container is just mosquito coils. In. Let us move. That, I would say the item that's taking up the most space on this camping trip are these two bins right here, which are both firewood. Today, I'm staying at a campsite that obviously has firewood, but since that's not always an option, and I'm gonna be on the road for an entire week, I bring my own. But I found a way to get almost all of it for free, which if you live in the countryside, which I've done before, you don't really have to pay for firewood and whatnot. There's the scrap wood all over the place you can cut up, but here in Japan, more often than not, I, I live in Tokyo, so. This one here is mostly just wood chips that I got at a previous campsite. But this one here, I actually got from a local woodworker who lives in my area. I go there pretty often to buy wood for projects that I do, and he asked me if I want any scraps, so here we are, free firewood, and it's small and good for kindling. So yay for the win for free firewood. But again, it takes up some space. Like, look how empty the van is now. And before I forget, this section here is where I keep my umbrella. But let's get to the camping stuff, because I have lots of camping stuff. Here we go. I think I just snapped this on right here. This whole container right here is my camping gear. It's pretty much always pre-packed and ready to go. I'll go through it super quick. I've got my usual fire pit that you may have seen in any one of my camping videos. I have a new fire pit. It's super tiny that I'm looking forward to trying out tonight. So we'll do that later. Oh, also this right here is the most life saving item ever. I picked this up randomly online a little while back. Look at this. This is, it's a fan. It's good too. 
And I definitely need this because it gets really hot camping in the summer. This has been an absolute lifesaver. I don't, I think it was like 30 or $40 online. It's much better than dying. I dropped that one. I keep some little camp lights for inside the van or when I'm camping in different spaces. I always have a little fold up chair that I use. I actually carry three separate sleeping bags. This one here is my summer sleeping bag, which often serves as a pillow. This one here is my super compact sleeping bag, which is fine at like minus five degrees. And then this one here is a super serious, like minus 20, minus 30 degree sleeping bag. This is a tent right here. It's the tent that I use the most. I always carry garbage bags with me just in case. Inflatable mattress, because they're air mattresses, I always keep a double in case there is a guest or in case one pops. This is a ground tarp. This is an overhead tarp. And this right here, this is a hammock. And then this right here is my Garmin InReach Mini. Just for safety, it's a little GPS device. And this thing with the many, many, many wires hanging out of it. Uh, this was my early birthday gift to myself. I absolutely love this. This thing is called the EF Delta. It is this giant power station. It's look at it, look at all this. It's got four USBs, two in fast charge. It's got two USB-C on here. Look at this. Uh, uh, the thing has six plugs on the back. That is absolutely bonkers it's got a car outlet just in case you need it it's so new that i haven't even taken off the sticker yet the car has a couple different like charging points like this because there's solar panel on the roof but you'll have to excuse my excitement <laughs> about basically a giant power bank charging stuff well on the road was always a stress for me and see this thing right here this is an AC inverter that you plug into the car and while the engine's running, you've got two outlets and four USBs, only two of which work anymore. And this is how I've been charging my gear and running my laptop and doing everything on all of my road trips for the last year, which is why I'm so excited about a power bank. I know it seems really silly, but I picked up a different one, the EcoFlow River Pro as like a home backup battery in case there's an emergency. And then I there, there was a sale and anyway, okay, let, that that's all. This, goodbye to this, it doesn't even work. I could run a refrigerator off of this if I wanted to. In fact, yesterday I did a live stream on it and I had the entire setup with the EF Delta there. Tons of fun. I think that's most of what's in the van so we can check out gear in just a second. Oh, that is heavy. Put that there. This giant oversized backpack is my go-to just because of the number of pockets and different spaces it has to carry stuff. The front pocket, I usually fill with as many action cams as I can. Right now I've got a GoPro in there. I've got the Insta360 ONE X2. I've got an Insta360 Go 2 there, and I actually I keep another one in my pocket just in case. The main flap is usually where I keep stuff like lenses. This is actually the box for the microphone that I've got on here right now hard drives, memory cards, and then an absolute ton of charging gear and cables gets contained in there. I like that it's got the yellow on the outside so I know when the zipper's open, but I will say right now, this is the first ever and last ever Olympus product I'll ever buy. The first time I put a tripod in it, it opened a giant hole in the netting here. I contacted customer service and they were like, we sold it to you, we're not responsible from here, find a tailor. And I was like, what? It was not a cheap bag. I never did end up finding a tailor. I use this Peak Design Clip or whatever so I can carry my camera while I'm walking and then this case right here is usually for my FPV drone gear, but this time I have a ton of other stuff in there. I've got 
HDMI. All of this is my streaming gear, the Blackmagic A10 Mini. I've got a backup camera so I can do time lapses and the batteries for it and everything. And then this is the FPV drone that I use. It's a it's called the Beta 95X by Beta FPV and it is a fun little drone. So I treated myself to kind of two birthday early birthday gifts for this trip. One was this EcoFlow Delta to get rid of that stress of running out of power. The other is this right here. And I haven't had a chance to try this yet and I really want to try it out. So this here is an entire like camping pot and pan set and whatnot. It's got a little teapot in it. It's got a little rice that you can see. I haven't even really gotten into it. It's got a frying pan. Look at this, check this out. You can just open this up like this. Boom, just like that. Put these out. Then you screw it onto a canister of gas like this. Cause you know, you can't always set up a campfire There we go. I can boil water. And I found these at my local supermarket. You just fill that with coffee, put it over your cup, and away you go. I just realized I don't have a cup. While it feels slightly ridiculous, this will do for now. There we go. This right here, this is my new campfire thing and I've dropped pieces all over the place. I am very excited to check this out and see how it works. Actually, it sounds like, sounds like that is boiled already. So uh, let's put that in there. And it's a little weaker than I usually go for, but Still good coffee. I <laughs> really check this out. Okay, so th I am just uh, apparently I'm just meant to drop everything. Keep dropping it everywhere. All right, let's see how hard it is to set this. Ah, I just realized I forgot. To, my pockets are so full. Some important gear. The camera that I'm using right now is the A7S3, and I have these Rode wireless go to microphones for interviews and stuff like that. But so I think I'm gonna stick all these tubes together. We're getting there. Okay. It's bigger than I expected. That makes sense. And then it's got this right here, which I can't imagine would last for very many uses. Put them in like that. So the other fire pit thing that I've been using for the past year or so has protected sides, which means it's gonna stop wind from blowing the fire all over the place. I don't think I would trust this one on a windy night. And I feel like the, you know, it should hold it. Let's give it a shot. Can't get a bit of a fire started. It's a half decent start. Also, I feel kind of bad about making coffee considering the gentleman who owns and runs this space runs it as a cafe. And he had me climb a tree earlier this morning. That That's an entirely separate adventure altogether. It has given us a half decent fire though, so that, that's not bad. You can't put a grill on it like you can with my other one and cook food, so I feel like I'm gonna be switching it out anyway, but I wanted to give it a... But that being said, I need to pack all of this up, set up the other campfire so I can eat those sausages that I bought at the beginning, 
and turn in early today because the, this is the beginning of a whole week of exciting adventures. Some here on Tokyo Lens, but most of them going over on the Tokyo Lens Explore channel. So I will link that as well. What did you think? Did you have a favorite item? Do you have something that you use for camping or for shooting or for photography? Let me know in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you again real soon.